I want to now work through one of your story problems in section 5.2 of your book. This is a section on exponential functions. And I'm going to look at problem 41, and it's titled Compound Interest. And this is just like one of your homework problems on WebAssign. So here I've written the equation we went over in class, the compound interest equation. So let's just remember what this represents. P is called the principal. P is the amount of money you put in the bank. R is the interest rate. And remember, please, that when you begin to work out this equation, you have to convert the interest rate into a decimal. So if R is 5%, when you get ready to put, use this equation to do some calculations, a 5% interest rate will translate to 0 0.05 when you get ready to use this equation. Now N is the number of interest periods per year. This is important. This is the number of times the interest rate is calculated per year. So in every problem, they will tell you. If they say it's compounded monthly, well, there are 12 months in a year, that means the interest is calculated 12 times. If they say compounded semi-annually, semi-annually means twice a year, so N would be two. If they say compounded annually, and that means once a year, and n would be one. So somewhere in the problem, they're going to tell you how often the interest is compounded, and that's going to determine what number you put in there for n. So specifically for problem number 41, let me just read it, and then we'll see if we can figure it out. It says, if $1,000 is invested at a rate of 7% per year, compounded monthly, find the principal after, and then it actually gives four different time frames. A is one month, B is six months, C is one year, and D is 20 years. Oh, and also, one other thing I didn't mention, the T in this equation is time, but you have to put that time in years. So whatever you, number you plug in for T, it has to be in years. So let's write down the information for this problem. We're going to invest $1,000. So my principal is $1,000. And the interest rate is 7%. But that translates to R of 0.07. 7%, if you convert it to a decimal, is 0 0.07. That's what I'm going to plug into my equation for R. Now, N is how many times a year is it compounded, and this problem says it's compounded monthly. So in this problem, N is going to be 12. So we're at 12 months in a year. And then the last thing is T is what we're going to plug in, and we just have to make sure that the T we plug in is in years. So for part A, they're saying how much money do you make after one month? So here's my basic equation. A equals my principal is $1,000, that's P, times, in parentheses, 1 plus R is 0.07, for now, uh, N is 12, and then NT is 12, and for now, I'll just leave it as T. So basically, now I'm going to plug in a number for T, and then I can calculate the amount of money I will have had in the bank. So T equals one month. When we plug in T, it has to be in years. How many years would one month be? One twelfth of a year. So really, here's going to be my equation. 
1 plus 0 0.07 over 12, 12 times 1, 12. Now normally with these kinds of problems, you're going to have to be able to calculate exponentials on your calculator, although this one they make it really easy. Because if I look at my exponent, what's 12 times 1 12? It's actually just 1. So really, for this problem, it's just 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.07 over 12. My exponent's 1, no need to write it. So I still have to grab my calculator. I take 0 0.07 divided by 12 equals, I add that to 1, so I'm over here to the side, punching this in my calculator. Then I multiply it times 1,000. And I think they said round to the nearest cent. So when you do that, you end up with 1005.83. Zero, zero, so in one month, you basically made $5.83. Okay. Now for part B, now they say, how about after six months? Well, if I, if I convert six months to years, how many years is six months? Well, that's half a year, right? So now I put... I'm not going to rewrite the whole equation. I go back up here, and now for T, I simply put in one half. And now I definitely am going to have to use my calculator because here's what I'm going to have a thousand times in parentheses 1 plus 0 0.07 over 12. 12 times 1 half is 6. All of that raised to the 6th power. So now, once again, you have to have a calculator that you can calculate exponentials and of course you have to know how to do it. So the first thing I do is I figure out what's inside the parentheses. So I'm going to take 0 0.07 divided by 12 equals. I'm going to add 1 to it. Now I'm going to take that number, and on my calculator it's like 1.00583333. I'm going to raise it to the sixth power. So on my calculator I have a y to the x key. I press the y to the x key and then enter the exponent of 6. And I get 1.03551404. I get a number. Now I'm going to take that number and multiply it by 1,000. And I end up with 1035.51. So after six months, if I start out with $1,000 now, I've got $1,035.51, so I've made $35.51. All right, so see how that works. So let's quickly do the last two. For C, it's just going to be, the time is going to be one year. So when I put in one year for T, my exponent's going to be 12. I'm not even going to take time to rewrite it. So I'm going to take 0 0.07 divided by 12 equals plus 1 equals. Now, I'm going to take that and raise it to the exponent of 12. And you get that, and I'm going to multiply that times 1,000. And now I get 1072.29. So now I've made a little over $72. And finally, the last time frame is 20 years. So now we're leaving a long time. And we're going to see how much it's worth after 20 years. So now I put in 20 for T. So this exponent, 20 times 12, it's going to be like 240. I'm just going to write that out. So here's what I'm going to have to calculate. 0 0.07 over 12. My exponent is now 240. So, 0 0.07 divided by 12 equals plus 1 equals. 
Now my exponent on my calculator, it's a y to the x key, y to the x, and my exponent is 240, and then I multiply that times, and lo and behold, what does this equal? Now you can see you've actually really made some money by leaving it in the bank for a while. $4,038.74. So that's how compound interest works. If you leave it long enough, it can really grow. All right, so hopefully you will not find it too difficult to do those kinds of problems.